Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of World of Tanks Tips. What a nostalgic intro there. But that's not why we're here. We're here for new stuff. And uh, I thought the first video that I would do would be just a lot of looking at mistakes and learning from them. Because that is the most important thing that you can do with your gameplay. Just play the game and learn from your mistakes. So I'm going to go through a bunch of the battles that I played first on stream, off stream, some of them, and just go through some of the very stupid things that you can improve upon. Like in this T3485M uh, game, I went to this spot very quickly, got here before anyone else, took a shot at this guy, that's fine. I see the KV2 is still oblivious, not oblivious, he's shooting at someone else. And then I try and track him, I track him, and then I try to track him again by doing damage, but I only managed to do damage, or track him. Then another KV-2 shows up, and a VK. I fire, doesn't hit at all. And now what? What am I doing here? Why would I now poke out to a VK and a KV-2 looking here? Like, there's no point. Also, this shot. What in the devil? Why does this deal damage? Look at where it hits. It hits, like, on the very edge of the tank. Anyways, this guy comes around and tries to flank and deal damage to this KV-1S. Is the KV-1S isn't? Yep. And the KV-1S, if he had just moved a little bit forward, like moved up towards me, that's what I'm yelling on stream, if he just moves forward towards me, the enemies have to go around the corner to hit him and we can support him. But he just keeps sitting there waiting for the enemy to show up again. I decide to not go and peek again because we know that the VK and the KV-2 is there. I learned from taking a beating before. A beating. I took one shot. But here I'm really thinking about what to do. And this OI has been spotted for quite some time. So if I had just looked around and seen that it was available to be shot at, I could have shot at it a lot earlier because uh, Savvy is spotting it. So I start shooting it. Could have gotten a lot more damage on it here. And I get the kill in the end. My attention now turns back, because now my allies have now st started spotting the enemy. And instead of uh, me having to like poke out my face and then take damage, I decide to, um, to go here and see if I can hit the KV-1, because I know that the KV-2 already just fired. The KV-1S now also does the same hit, the exact same like outer spot. Like, I don't, I don't like that world tanks. Places like that, I don't like, I don't like that you can deal damage. I learned my mistake. You're not gonna poke here. You just took two hits from doing this. Don't do it again. And yeah, uh, if I had paid attention, I could have uh, gotten a shot on this guy because he had been here for a little bit, but instead I get to miss a shot because I'm late. Instead of sitting at this corner, I could have gotten that damage. So yeah, do not peek. Don't peek, let someone else peek. You've already taken two shots worth of damage, and I've learned that. I look at the minimap and see that the enemy is now pushing a lot to the uh, north, and therefore I peek. Like, I see that the VK is not there as well. And I'm still, I still don't want to go forward, because like I'm the only one that's gone forward so far. Oh! A teammate is actually pushing forward, and he has more HP than me. And then I become oblivious to the minimap. The KV-1, the KV-2 is right to my left. And he kills me. Yeah. No. I should have just learned from my mistake. And just stayed behind the teammate there. Let him take the shot. And then I could have proceeded forward to then deal some more damage and survive. But we move on to a game in the Wolverine. A tank that I like after the Hellcat got nerfed. It was very, very good at one point. It still might be, but I prefer the Wolverine and its fast firing gun. It's not as fast as the Hellcat. The Hellcat was insanely fast back then. But I get into a position here over on the east. And I get some shots off on this Excalibur. Bam, bam, bam. In a good position here to keep firing. Didn't penetrate the last one, and I then proceed to go to a bush. 
this bush up here. Well, actually, I don't go to the bush. I get interrupted because someone spots the uh, stook up here. And I fire. Darn it. Didn't get another shot on it. So we move up. And here, from here, I can support whenever someone gets spotted over there. And I will, because it's a very good spot for a very fast firing tank. With a little bit of gun depression, or else you have to go up and like show yourself your entire tank every time something shows up. And here we got the Excalibur again. Bam! That was a good snapshot there. That was a terrible shot by me. Keep firing. Bam! He's shooting at me because he knows this bush spot. Uh, but he misses. So, we have some people here. They're not pushing up, which is okay. Uh, we need some more people, and they're coming. We have the Chinu coming. And then a Chaffee shows up, and I go, oh, Chaffee, I can shoot that! But we already have people dealing with him down there. But I still go, yeah, I want to shoot that! Then I get spotted. And then I get killed. Bam! Bam! As easy as that. Why did I need to go up there? Did I need to go up there? I definitely didn't. I was in a very good spot to support. But no. I decided to get greedy. I saw a little bit of damage and I decided to go for it. That's just dumb. Next time, don't do that. If the Chaffee were to come up to me, sure, I could have taken a shot at it. But it was all the way down at the bottom of the uh, lake part there. And that was just dumb. Control your greed, guys. Control your greed. We're sticking here on Savvy because he also has a moment where he acts a little rational. Irrational? He doesn't act rational. Because the game over here on this side is basically uh, lost at one point. People start dying. People push a little bit too forward. We're ahead in score though. But as he pushes up here, people start to go in one on one. Or one against many. And they just start dying. And Savvy decides, I'll just go down here and get a shot off. But he goes down and shoots the ground. If you're going to go out in a blaze of glory, at least aim the shot. So I guess that's one thing that you can learn from that. Dear viewer, he turns and fires and gets a big hit on the uh, E-3485. And uh, that's it for that game. So... Let's move on. And we're here on Mountain Pass in a T-34. And what goes wrong here? Well, it's one of those things that you see quite often in a game. You see someone going one side, nobody else really following you, and then you have to write in chat, Oh, you noobs! You didn't follow me, and you didn't help kill what I spotted for you? You suck. Like, sometimes you just have to, like, look at the map. You always have to look at the map, actually. But look at the map, see what's coming. Is anyone following you? Oh, I checked for a split second. Okay, Wolverine and something else. But what really, like, nothing followed me. So maybe we should teach this guy a lesson? Did he forget? Okay, 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 skip the intro, skip the intro. There we go. A little bit more. A little bit more. And there we go. Make sure that someone is going your way. If not, then who will hurt the one, hurt the one you scout? Did this guy learn that? Did he check? Who's gonna hurt the ones that you're gonna spot, little T-34? Let's see. What can happen? Oh, first up, they put a rock here. Come on, Wargaming, why is there a rock there? Really? Did we really need that? They seem to think so. Okay, T-34, getting in place. Behind the bush. Oh, just in time. Holy smokes. That could have been bad if he had spotted me instantly. So I'm sitting here. Okay, one shot misses. That's nice. More. Nothing more. He's definitely shooting at something. Hello. Oh, another shot missed. 
Hmm. Hello? Allies? Allies? Hello, allies? That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, what? why is no one shooting these guys? They're completely spotted. But we only have a KV-1 and a Wolverine sitting in a pretty poor position. Like, those guys are not going to deal with these mediums at all. Wolverine is already down. Oh, here comes an ELC. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of screwed. Come on, man. Why didn't you shoot the ones that I spotted? I was in a perfect position. So, uh, yeah, lesson learned here. Never just rush ahead if you have zero backup. At least you should watch my videos from eight years ago before you do so. Uh, but we end off on a more funny note, but it's also a lesson. We have a behemoth, the mighty behemoth. He is in his SU-152 with his derp gun, and he has found a very juicy target that he can shoot right in the side. Mm. Will he be allowed? Oh. Oh, maybe, maybe. Oh, oh he could have gone for it, but... He didn't. He wanted to be super sure. Oh, a medium is coming now. Oh, oh, maybe it can draw away the attention. And here we go. His big moment. His big chance. All he has to do is just aim for the side and press the trigger. He fired above it. Let's see that in instant replay. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they would never understand.